What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys like Jeeps, I'm gonna show you guys all the Jeeps that I saw at SEMA. Let's go check it out. Nothing but Jeeps. Day one, and uh, if you're credentialed media, you can actually get into the show 30 minutes early to beat the crowd. So you can get pictures and video without a bunch of people jumping in the shop. So I'm about five minutes out, and we're gonna go right through that door and check everything out. Yeah, have a good one, thank you. So what you say? Yeah, we, for the show. We made it! Woo! <laughs> Woo All right, let's get in here and get some pictures and video. I don't even know where to go, I'm just gonna dive right in. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna scroll some shit and be like, oh, that's cool. This is a company called Cliff Ride. Never heard of these guys before. They got these uh, rooftop tents that are built into the roof that are actually part of the vehicle. You can't take them off, not easily anyways. You just pop the roof up, kind of like the old uh, VW Westphalias. Remember those? Same kind of concept. So I'm assuming there's a hatch. Yeah, there's a hatch right here. You can climb up and get into bed. That is nice. And uh, the bonus part with these things is that they're super low profile. Once you put them down, they're basically aerodynamic for the most part. And they're really durable. You got a hard shell roof. So if it starts raining or hail storming on you, you're good to go. That is nice. Very nice. Check out these uh, lights. They're like little pods built into the, uh, the upper part of the hood. I've never seen that before. It also has LEDs on the shell there. Look at this thing. This one is like a, I guess it's fiberglass. Some kind of fiberglass sh shell that you put onto your Jeep. So you can turn your Jeep into a little mini RV. Like a low profile RV. This is obviously the bed area. Just enough to squeeze your body in there. Not a lot of headroom. You got those uh, dual pane pop out windows. And then you have like that, uh, almost like a submarine hatch in the back. Can we take a look inside or is it too early to look in? No, this one's staying shut. Oh, okay, gotcha. Very cool. So unfortunately I can't look inside, but you can uh, probably outfit this thing any way you want. I mean, sky's the limit. Use your imagination. Toilet, sink, stove, bed, all that good stuff. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm at the Bullet Liner booth. Check this out. This is a Jeep Comanche, probably an 80s or 90s maybe. Comanche, this is a Jeep truck basically. And this has got to be the most badass Comanche I've ever seen. Damn, that's nice. Very cool. Look at that little tiny bumper in the front. So Bullet Liner is known for their um, really aggressive lining. It's like a... Can't damage it. Suspension. Look at these uh, rigid LEDs in the mirrors. <laughs> That's cool. Roll cage. Oh, like onboard air, so you can air up and air down his tires. They had to put the reservoir shocks in the truck bed because it's so tiny. Probably wouldn't fit over here. They had to cut a whole bunch of the body out to get these wheels to fit. That's nice. Portal axles, look at that. So if you don't know, these are the axles that have gears in the actual hubs built in. So there's a reduction right there. You get nice, huge ground clearance. The pumpkin's way off the ground. That is amazing. This is nuts. So this is built by Starwood. 
and they're known for making really awesome Jeeps. But uh, look at these wheels, hostile wheels. King Off-Road, Coilovers, and Reservoir Shocks. Tons of aftermarket stuff on this thing. Look at these two fenders. It's nice. Check out these shackles, man. They're so pretty, I wouldn't even want to get them dirty. Rigid uh, hood lights, ditch lights, and big old LED bar at the top. It's got like an exoskeleton thing going on. That's kind of wild. That's nice, nice, nice. And let's take a look at those uh, portal axles on the back. This is really nice. Check out this Jeep. So it's a Jeep uh, JK, I believe it is, Wrangler. And this one's built by Starwood. And uh, these guys are famous for making gorgeous Jeeps. Let's look at this nice and close. It's got a rugged ridge, stubby stinger front bumper. It's got a rugged ridge, extreme heavy duty 12.5 winch. Very cool. Terraflex axles. I don't know the gear ratios. Pretty nice. Those are adjustable shocks with reservoirs. You got Terraflex speed bumps in there underneath the coils. Look at these wheels. I believe these are uh, Black Rhino wheels. Very um, MRAP looking. Those are 40 inch. Who makes these tires? Uh, who makes these tires? Fury? Country Hunter. I never heard of Fury. They're Fury tires. So are these metal? Yep, they're metal. Nice hood too, by the way. Look at that. It's got these little protectors on the uh, LED headlights. Rugged Ridge LEDs. I like this track system. You wouldn't notice that unless you got right up on it, but there's like a track system. You can put the lights anywhere you want on here. That's cool. Check out these uh, skeletonized doors. And these rock rails. Those are some beefy uh, rock sliders. You could step on them and you can get bashed by rocks. But uh, yeah, these skeletonized doors are really cool. I like that. I guess they're made by Ace. I see a Ace right there. So the interior looks like it's pretty much stock. But the seats are nice. Look at those seats. I don't know who did these seats, but they're like a tread pattern. I like that. Same thing in the back. Very nice. We got some kind of rug. It says bed rug. Nice lining back there. Yep, these are black rhino wheels. Yeah, I think these are the ones that are supposed to mimic uh, MRAP wheels. I don't, I don't think that they're um, bead locks, but they look like uh, they're bead locks. I don't know, these could be. This is a new year. Maybe these are, I don't know. Leave a comment below and let me know if you know anything about these. I like that armor to protect these if you're going through the forest and a tree hits this doesn't break your tail lights these uh, extended fenders up nice and high that's cool man I like it look at this so this is a JL the new brand new JL it just came out but they built this into a gladiator Gladiator has that leaning front end. 
That is just cool, man. Pretty wild. Look at that hood. Check out these, um, these, I guess, well, I don't know, these like brackets you can bolt on and you can slide your ditch lights anywhere you want. It's actually kind of cool. You got your half doors. Here's the uh, Mahindra Rock Store. I saw this a while back at the AIM Expo. This is basically a, a Jeep from uh, the 1940s, but built literally this year in India using a little turbo diesel engine. Here it is right there. Your little brand new turbo diesel engine. Steel frame. Leaf spring suspension, solid axles. So it's basically like a brand new Willys Jeep. That's cool. So here's a little rock sore that's been customized. That is cool. I knew I was going to see something like this at SEMA eventually. It's got crazy axles in here hydraulic assist steer stinger bumper got a one winch adjustable coilovers wheels Hutchison wheels these are the uh, bead locks that are street legal BF Goodrich those are what 30 39s, yeah, 39 inch wheels or tires, and they beefed up the uh, the frame on this one so you can bash on some rocks. It must be relatively easy to customize these things though, because they are based off of a, a Jeep. The uh, the plans that they use to build these things are literally the same ones they use for years. They're licensed to use the Jeep uh, design. Here's a little uh, stock one that's made up to look like a military Jeep. I heard these things uh, in stock form are like 15 grand. They're not street legal, but you can get them street legal. You can do the paperwork and do some things to make it street legal. But I think the majority of people are buying these just to goof around on their property, you know. If you have a ranch or you own a bunch of acres in the deserts or in the mountains. And you just need a little side-by-side -side ATV. Well, this is a step up from an ATV. Pretty cool. So here's a Jeep Wrangler. It's got all kinds of cool little parts on here. If you look close, you'll see them that uh, really stick out. For one, that roof. Look at that. This is by uh, American Fastbacks, I believe, because it says right there, at American Fastbacks. And it kind of has that, like a Land Rover kind of look to it, like a Discovery with the little windows here. It gives you a little bit more headroom inside. That's nice. Notice that right away. And this tent, here's a tent I've never seen before. It says Wildland. I've never heard of this company called Wildland, but that's interesting. It kind of zigzag and pops up. So it's a hard shell, but not like your typical hard shell where it just goes to an angle and you only have one side that's hard shell and one side that's fabric. This one pops up and the hard shell stays horizontal. That's interesting. I like it. Very cool. Crazy. We were on the 
American Fastbacks. That's nice. Look at this Jeep truck. So this Jeep is basically, if you didn't read the details on this, you'd never know, but it started life as a Jeep JK Wrangler, but they built it to look like a Jeep Gladiator pickup truck. That's cool, man. Those are uh, Ford Super Duty axles. That is just amazing. So you got this little stubby step side truck bed in the back. Microscopic truck bed. Short wheelbase. That is cool. Nitro gear and axle. That is pretty cool. I'm at the Warren booth. Check out this uh, brand new Jeep JL. And it's been stretched, man. This thing is long. Pretty nuts. Of course, they got their newest uh, Warren winch on the front here. The stubby bumper. Check out the uh, link. It's called the Sidewinder. That's pretty cool. They got all kinds of cool stuff on here. Look at these. Um, Hyperlinks, they're calling these hyperlinks. Interesting, there's a little uh, front camera there. Rigid LEDs. That is beautiful. This thing is crazy. Look how long this thing is, man. So it is a four door, but they put like a truck bed on the back. If you look in here, it's got tons of tons of accessories in there and even have their um, rugged radios so you can talk to each other when you're on the trail and it's I guess it's, if it's really loud out there yeah, fire extinguisher so here's here's the cool part this is basically a chase truck they got all these cargo compartments built in that is nice tons and tons of uh, space for your tools and gear I like it. Onboard air. I guess that's kind of like a roll cage, I guess. I don't know. It's probably more for aesthetics, really. Two full-size spares. Yeah, this thing is kind of like uh, a desert chase vehicle. There's the whip flags. Now, this is cool. Check out this uh, winch on the back. You can actually winch somebody out from the back. That's awesome. Check this Jeep out at the centerline booth. That is nuts. Let's take a closer look at this thing. I've never seen a grill like this one. This must be a Fab Four's new bumper. So this bumper keeps the debris from destroying your front end. And it, they got these new things now where they fly out here and go into your, to your fender. That's cool. I don't remember seeing that before. That's really cool. It's got a Warren winch. Skyjacker lift. Big old tire super swampers. I like those wheels. Centerline wheels. They're like solid. Almost look like they're bulletproof. That's nice. And there's their famous uh, windshield thingamajig visor thing. And it holds your LEDs and it's like a visor. That's cool. Look at these seats. Road wire leather interiors. The dash is pretty much factory. Look at this. I like this. It's like uh, like rock sliders, and then it goes right up into your your fenders here. That's cool. I like it. You got a distinct design for sure. Uh, the guys at Fab Fours have a certain style. It's very cool. Check it out. Koenig Booth has a Jeep Comanche truck. That is badass, man. These are their uh, Mamba wheels. It's got Terraflex axles. That is nice, man. Look at that. 
I really like how they're doing these uh, Baja design lights up front. It's a nice change from the light bars. 4.0 supercharged. Very nice. It's got a little uh, JCR roof rack up there. Look at that. That dash is straight out of the uh, straight out of the 80s. <laughs> early 90s I like that chase rack that's cool see so look how it mounts to the bed comes up and then mounts on the gutters right here very cool So check it out. I'm at the uh, Warrior Products booth. These guys are out of Oregon. Tons and tons of stuff for Jeeps. Look at this. Let's just try to fly around and spot everything. So here's their little stubby front bumper. Wow, this has got a lot going on here. So they have little cutouts so you can use your high lift jack to lift your Jeep up. See that? Little cutouts right there. Shackle points. Tons of little holes here to mount accessories like light pods like they have there. And they have this little bar that comes up to add even more gear. They got a lockbox. This is actually a metal lockbox. That's for his um, his toe straps. And as you can see, you can lock them as well. I like that. It's actually really nice. And then what else we got here? Here's your sliders. There's the uh, logo there. Look, these are skeletonized doors, you know, mesh doors. Really lightens things up. It still protects you from uh, getting hit by um, branches and stuff. Keeps you from falling out. Some for the back as well. Here's their rack. Now, oh, look at this. Oh, I like this. So, this takes advantage of a spot that hardly ever gets used. It falls down, you got a table. Put all kinds of stuff on here. That's awesome. And there is their bumper. Got like little steps right here. I like that. All right, so here's something you guys got to look at here. So I was talking about how you can put your high lift jack here to lift your Jeep up. You can also pop a drink right there too. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So check them out. WarriorProducts.com out of Oregon. Look at this uh, Jeep by 511. It's got tons of sponsors on this one, but. Um, the first thing that I noticed was the big uh, 511 on the side. It's got a topographical map for, uh, I think it's a wrap, not really a paint job. That's cool, man. Tons and tons of stuff on here. It just goes on for days. You got a Stinger bumper by Evo. Super winch in the front. Obviously, it's turbocharged because you can see the uh, intercooler. Icon suspension, Icon wheels, those are uh, bead locks. Cooper tires, KC ditch lights, KC floodlights. Little LED lights there, I like that. Free spirit rooftop tent. Check out that tire carrier, that's cool. It's like, it protects your tire. So you can get hit in the back by another vehicle and you don't have to worry about your tire getting jacked up. You don't have to worry about your vehicle getting jacked up for that matter. Look how big these uh, these bars are. It's insane. Some serious protection. I like it. Very, very cool. Here's something I almost walked right past and didn't even notice. So you can actually bolt these steps onto your hinges. See these come out like this? You can pull them out. You can step there step up and get to your gear same thing over here that's cool check this crazy machine out kind of looks like a Jeep because it has the slots with the grill but it's not they use the uh, Baja designs floodlights as headlights 
So this is off-road only, obviously. That's cool. Independent suspension up front. So definitely not a Jeep anymore. This is more like a desert buggy. This is easily well over $100,000. That's nuts. Magpul. Oh, sponsored by Magpul. Right on. That is weird, man. <laughs> that is so strange. I'm at the Maxis booth. Check this out. This is a pretty awesome, uh, I think this is the new JL, yeah, because uh, the grill kind of gives it away. Brand new. They've done some work to it, though. They put these uh, Dynatrack axles. These are the Pro Rock XD60s. Nice. Man, everybody's doing these Baja Designs uh, pod lights in the front now. It seems like everybody's doing that. Big, humongous tires. These are the Maxxis Razors, MTs. Oh, look, they made this into like a truck. They like converted it into a truck bed back here. So now it's just a two-seater. There's your two seats up front. And this whole section back here is nothing but truck bed. It's an ARB electronic fridge. Tons of camping gear. It's nice. <laughs> Check out this Genrite Jeep. Pretty nice. XD wheels. Got a little stubby bumper. It's actually not lifted at all. I bet you that's almost, <laughs> it looks like it's stock. That actually looks like it's a stock suspension. Almost, almost stock. It does have some uh, King off-road shocks, but the height doesn't look very tall. It's actually kind of nice. Just keep it simple. Got them ditch lights. I like that. Rhino rack. CVT. Pretty cool. Check out this Jeep. That's really nice. Man, again, black Rhino wheels. They're all over the place here. It's beautiful. There's another Free Spirit. I think it's called Free Spirit, yeah. Look at that shell. The whole shell acts as an awning. I really like that, man. That's nice. Let's see if I can fit all this in camera here. It's hard to fit everything in camera. Check out this uh, Jeep truck. I think it's a Brute. This one's by uh, Go Rhino. That's nice. Oh, I think I've seen this before. Yeah, it has a drawer, a lockable. And that has a lockable drawer right here. You can put gear in there. Rigid Industries LEDs everywhere. I like that. You can point it out to the ditch. If you're gonna be uh, rock crawling at night. Warren Winch. Nice wheels. Those are black wire wheels as well. Look at that bulge. Must be supercharged underneath there or something. I don't know. Ah, I like that. Check at this light bar. It's like got armor. You don't have to worry about, you know, a branch coming down and breaking your LEDs. That's cool. More ditch lights. Look at this. You got LEDs on your mirrors. That's a first. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I like it. And then uh, this is a combination, looks like uh, rock slider slash steps. 
I don't know about that one. If a rock hits that thing, it might it might bend it all up. I don't know. I don't know about that one. And then here's your little truck bed in the back. Yeah, I think this is a conversion kit. You can convert a JK Wrangler into a truck. Don't really know for sure. It's nice though. There's another uh, Go Rhino Jeep. So it's, uh, it's got a cool mesh kind of bumper in the front. Keep the stones from breaking your LEDs. This is a cool thing I've noticed a couple Jeeps having now. Putting the LED pods on the front of your hood. This guy has a he's got a gazillion LEDs on here. Look at this. He's got here, here, right there in the middle, and then two more there and two more there <laughs> and then one on the top this guy's got LEDs for days that's funny I like this armor here though that's kind of nice uh, let's see what's going on back here it's got more LEDs so there's like a bracket you can attach to your your shell and then here's the rear bumper with the uh, mesh guard for your LEDs for backup Pretty cool. Check out this crazy Jeep. It's got the Fab Fours. It's like a grumper and fender combo in the front. See how it's a bumper and then a grill and then fenders. It's interesting. Forgiato wheels. Definitely a mall crawler. want to get attention this will definitely grab some attention when you're cruising down the strip there's a tire carrier I've never seen before that's interesting it uses uh, ratchet straps to hold it on instead of bolts huh never seen that before and here's another one right next to it was not as crazy I guess if you saw this on the streets it would be absolutely crazy but here at SEMA it's kind of tame here's a clean Rubicon not too crazy general grabber tires winch stubby bumper a whole bunch of LEDs go rhino roof rack pretty cool Looks like somebody was having some fun with this one. Check out this Rubicon. That's uh, normal in the front for the most part. But then, look at that, he's got six doors. <laughs> it's like a little limo. It's a Jeep Wrangler with six doors. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at the uh, Jeep Chrysler Dodge booth and uh, they have a Jeep called the Nacho on display here. I'm assuming it's called the Nacho because of the Nacho cheese color paint job. See right there? Nacho. <laughs> it's a fun little car. Here's the new JL set up to look like a Jeepster. So it's kind of like a chop top. See that? The uh, windows chopped down. Nice wheels. Not a lot of room in here. The uh, spare tire literally takes up the entire back area. Check out this Jeep JL. This is the uh, Sandstorm. A little stubby bumper. 
all kinds of uh, travel on this thing. Long travel. King suspension, reservoir shocks. Cool hood. It's got a 329 Hemi under the hood. I like this. It looks kind of durable. Simplistic, but durable. Look at these little like rumble seats in the back. Long travel suspension. Pretty long control arms. Adjustable coilovers. Spare tire carrier. They took the tailgate off and built a carrier for their spare tire. It's nice. Oh, look at the fuel fill. This is an old school SUV right here. This is before SUVs were even SUVs. This is the Jeep Wagoneer, four wheel drive, solid axles, lifted, off road tires, steel body on frame. That's old school off road right there. If you are an outdoorsy kind of family, got a bench seat, you can sit three up front, three in the back, and all your cargo. It even came with a roof rack. Look at that. Stamped steel wheels. Ah, look at that. Crank the window. <laughs> the window would crank up. Here's another six door Jeep. MX2 dot rocks. Jeez. American Force wheels. This one's on airbags. Yikes. So it's like a little limo, basically. You got six doors. If you got a big family and you want to go play around in the dirt, here's a nice option. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Six door Jeep. Look how long this thing is. So here it is again, the Resvani. This is that uh, full custom Jeep, actually. Believe it or not, this is actually built off of a, a Jeep Wrangler. I thought it was actually a FJ, but it's it's a Jeep Wrangler. And that thing has got rhino lining all over it, man. That's cool. Let's see if we can take a peek inside. Look at this beast. I think I saw this at the... Uh, off-road expo in Pomona, California, but it's been finished up now because it was kind of raw before. So this is called the Big Willie 1942 Willies, and it is huge. <laughs> Check out the size of this thing. You probably can't tell how big it is because there's no one standing next to it, but this thing is huge. Those are super single, um, like five-ton wheels, I believe they are. So they they are normally on five-ton military cargo trucks. But he built a frame and a, a Jeep basically around those wheels and axles. <laughs> that thing is huge. It's got rear steer. Oh, look. He's got LED strip lights all around this thing. I bet you it looks pretty awesome at night. Look how big these seats are. <laughs> look how big that steering wheel is. He's got blocks. He has, actually has blocks on the uh, gas and the... Uh, the brake because it's just so big <laughs> hashtag big willy there we go sorry getting people's ways I don't want to get run over nuts now, this is cool it's a Tonka Jeep I've actually never seen this one before I've seen the Tonka Forerunner before and the Tonka Tundra but never seen the Tonka Jeep that is pretty 
cool. This thing has definitely been used. It's been out and about, playing out in the dirt. I kind of like that truck setup. Oh man, look at this. CJ7. This is the Jeep that I had in Hawaii. This brings back memories, man. Oh God. I remember driving all over the island in this thing. North Shore, kind of point. People are getting stuck. I just fly right by them in this thing. Like, <laughs> I still remember popping the hood on this thing. I remember one time my uh, windshield wipers broke and I had to use my hands to clean the windows. I took the top off just like this. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. Though. Look at this thing. Wow. Mine just had the long sticks. Here's the oh shit grab bar. See, you can just unscrew these right here and then put the hood down. That was awesome. Ah, oh, man, that really brings back memories. I wish I would have kept it. Mine was nice too. Mine was all black. Black on black. Look at this. It's a brand new JL Rubicon. And they put some uh, tracks on it. <laughs> I actually saw this thing driving on the streets here in Las Vegas. It was making all kinds of noise. I guess they didn't care that it was gonna tear up their rubber tracks, but it is SEMA, so you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. You see incredible things at SEMA. I'm at a booth called Rego4x4.com, and this Jeep caught my eye. Look at this. So when you when you see this Jeep, right away you see something that sticks out. It has independent suspension. Look at that. So, if you look closely at this, it's not just independent suspension. They also incorporated um, portal axles. If you look right there, so how it's set up is the portal axles have the gear reduction there, and then the shaft actually goes opposite across to here. So you have a long travel for your uh, suspension. That's incredible. Because normally you'd have a short um, shaft right here, but it's actually a long shaft that goes way over here to the portal. That's incredible. And he was saying that you get basically double the travel of a solid axle, but your tire doesn't tilt. Once you start getting into those big droops, normally you'll see the tire start to tilt. This stays straight up and down because it's independent. So. For all the haters out there that are like, oh, that's sacrilegious, you know, solid axles on a Jeep is where it's at. You know, there's some guys out there that may want to have this style for the uh, benefits of having the tires stay in the, the right track as it droops. That's incredible. And the fact that you can mess with the gears, you can change your gear ratios in the portals. That's pretty nuts. So this is obviously um, not ready for sale yet. They said they're still working on things, but um, possibly in uh, six months you might see this for sale. Maybe, if things go well. That's incredible. Now look at the back. So you got long travel right here. See how the uh, control arm is literally connected to the middle part of the Jeep. So you get a lot of travel. You can see right there. There's another shot of the portals in the back. See how long the shaft is? The, the axle shaft is actually really long, so you get a lot of travel. That is cool. I know a lot of Jeep guys are going to be like, no, no, don't do it. But this is some pretty cool tech for sure. All right, so if you want to learn more, check them out at REGO4x4.com